Hello everybody, Reggie Tam here with a very quick end of month roundup to round up um, January. And we're going to start with the holder manager results, which I am pretty delighted with. Well, not delighted, but they're pretty pleased. We had a bit of a, a drop at the end, which is unfortunate, but that's poker. Um, but we've made $486 across all sites over just however many hands. Um, 17,687 hands for $486. We ran just about on EV, win rate of, um, we'll actually look at the EV win rate of 5.24. So five blinds 100, pretty good for the for the major sites, I think. Um, that is mostly due to a to a pretty big heater at 50 now, like we'll look at it in a minute. Um, it starts pretty solid, 2015, nearly 7% three bet. Went to showdowns a little bit high, but you'd expect that on the softer sites where you don't get as many faults. Um, I think my aggression could have been a touch higher maybe, but overall pretty pleased with it. Not enjoy seeing paying $543 in rake, but nevertheless it is what it is. And um, the results by stakes look like this, as you can see, it's mostly the result of an, uh, an extreme heater at 50 and L. Even that 10 band 100, we know that's not the usual win rate, we know that's punching above our weight. Um, so even like, we, we've run above EV, but we've also like ran above what we would expect also in terms of our actual win rate. So this wouldn't be typical, I wouldn't imagine. Um, I'd imagine that's much more likely to be down at around four or five, um, possibly six, but you know, something around that region. So we've done had a good month. We've done better than we would expect to have done given our volume, but we'll take it, you know. You look at the other side of the coin and 30 and L, we only won at 7.74 blends 100. It should have been 7.0. One five again over a small sample size. The sample size is important here. And um, I think if you look at the overall, it's probably about right. I'd expect that somewhere around those numbers to be a win rate anywhere between like 4.5 and 6. So it's about right. And uh, fortunately, we've run good at the 15 hour games and we ran bad in the 13 hour games, which is a way you'd like it, I guess. Um, so overall, very pleased with that. Moving on to the play across other sites that aren't the major sites and um, we played 41 hours I guess we need to figure out exactly how many hours we played I think we played over 80 hours this month which is really pleasing but 41 hours 442 pounds we had that big spike in the in the pot limit Omaha here um, but then we lost some back at pot limit Omaha here so overall I'd say again this is about right for, for if I was playing on Sky I'd expect my hourly rate to be somewhere near £10 an hour. This is in pounds not dollars, a spreadsheet reports it as dollars but it's actually pounds because it's on um, it's Sky and Unibet and what have you and when I played on PokerStars I converted the dollars to pounds so it was all the same thing so we weren't mixing the, the currencies up. So we've got £442 profit there and £486 profit here which takes us up to over it takes us to a four figure month in dollars obviously not a four figure month in pounds but I'm delighted with that I mean um, given my new working situation anything any profit at all from pokers is nice um, but to make a four figure month in my first month when I was supposed to be taking it easy, even though obviously we haven't taken it that easy, we've still put 80 odd hours in, I think. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. We have been a bit all over the place. I've done a bit of PLO, I've done played um, mostly AAA and Sky, but there's been a little bit of Poker Stars in there, tiny bit of party poker, not very much. Um, I'm still not really that super settled, but I don't think I ever will be. I think I'm always going to be like, just flip around the sites. That's kind of why I've got money everywhere. I have money on all the sites, so I can, when I get bored of one, I can go and do another. Sky last night, for example, logged in, um, not last night, night before, I logged in, it was great, so I played on Sky. But the previous week, I've been logging into Sky, it's been rubbish, so I just logged into my AAA account and played there. Um, on my poker stars account, so it's nice. I, I I tend to have money spread around the sites. My bankroll spread around the sites. I tend to have maybe anywhere between like maybe two hundred to five hundred on each site, depending on how much I play there. And then I can just play on every site that's available to me: Unibet, Party Poker, Sky, Triple Eight, Poker Stars, mostly. Um, and then we just keep the rest offline. I'm sorry off the sites in a in an e-wallet so we can just top up and withdraw as, as we need to so that's that like kind of how my bankroll works so we never have a ton of money anywhere so we can't really ever play higher than 50 but um i don't want to play higher than 50 anyways it's really not a big deal 
So yeah, who knows what the plans are for February. Um, we're actually going to start out playing on PokerStars this week. I played, logged into Sky last night and um, I just sat at a 30 on table for like literally 15 minutes. Not a single person joined me. And then um, I got bored, so the plan was to go and play some full ring on poker stars just for the crack, just for something different. I fancy just loading up some 25 and full ring tables. Um, and then I decided, no, I'm not, I'm tired, so I went to bed instead. Uh, so I don't know, maybe we're going to play some 25 and full ring today, or maybe I'll just come home, log into Sky, and say, fuck it, we'll play Sky. Who knows? I'm not making any concrete plans in February. The only goal is to try and keep my. I was played above 60, which we've done easily, really well this month. Um, I've got a really busy two weeks at work coming up, but I should still be able to squeeze a minimum of two hours a day and maybe more. So the goal of February is basically just play over 60 hours, make profit, go from there. Um, let me know how your month's gone and let me know what your plans for February are. Okay, thanks a lot and bye for now.